Hey everybody, this is Greg from MachineMasters.com and today I'm going to show you how to track your beats out from Machine into Logic via audio. So there's going to be a little bit of internal routing. It's not really the same as uh, drag and drop to MIDI. Um, so what you do for starters is you take the audio track and you want to set the input to a bus. So I will take bus 1 have the outputs to the 1 and 2 main. You go ahead and create that. Then you go back to Tracks, or New Track. Then you go to Software Instruments, and you want the output of this to also be Bus 1, or whatever bus you selected. Hit Create. Now we click on the instrument, go down to AU Instruments, Native Instruments, Machine. I like to select Mono. Machine loads up. Go ahead and select your track. Let's go ahead and adjust our tempo because I know that the track is not that fast. And I don't bother, I mean you can go through and you can actually uh, go to each sound and you can you know set the sounds to out one, out two, out three or you know all the virtual outs that machine has to offer but I do mine's a little differently and that's because I like to control the audio signal that's bouncing out of the machine and back into logic and I guess what I'm saying is I like to process my sounds off of preamps to give me more of a console sound so I'm gonna be doing one sound at a time anyway so I just leave it as default with the with the master uh, being on the one and two and then I just solo up, uh, for, for this one I'm going to solo up the channel, but uh, actually what I'd be doing is I'd be soloing up each and every sound. So I go ahead and solo up the sound that I want, drag this to the side, and actually let me turn this down just a little bit because I remember last time I used this in the uh, last tutorial it was a little bit too hot. So go ahead drag that to the side. We make sure our record is enabled. Uh, we're at the beginning of the track, beginning of the sequencer, and then we hit record. And that's how you track out via audio. It took mine a while to uh, record the audio because mine was at the end of the track and then it had to come back around. But that's how you route so that way you can record audio from machine into Logic.